some information about SAC 2, which is taking place tomorrow afternoon. I made a similar video to this just before SAC 1, but I know that because this is about primary data based on a laboratory that you completed in the comfort of your own living area as well as your surroundings um, by running with Strava, I just wanted to put together this video just to make sure that I'm answering some of those frequently asked questions that I'm getting from students and also send it out to the parents so that you understand what's going on as well. So if we have a look at the SAC timetable, we're here in term two, week four, physical education. It's on a Thursday during period four, the official start time at 1.45, completion at 3.20 p.m. And we're asking that you try and get that upload completed on time. Now tomorrow, it's likely that you don't have your class with student-led conferences and classes might be blanked out. So when you do go into your Compass page, if you just go over to Schedule, it will show you your schedule for the week. And if you click on any time where our physical education class, either mine or Mr. Smith, whichever class you're in, takes place, it will open up the official page for that one there. And as the same was with the last SAC, you will find it under learning tasks. So once the page loads up, if you click on learning tasks, SAC 2 will have appeared at 1.45 p.m. on the dot. When you open that SAC page up, which you'll just click on the name, but I need to go into edit here, it gives you this information here. It tells you the completion time. I wasn't able to schedule 3.20, but that's the time you need to stick to. And it says you will download, complete, and upload the SAC. Start at 1.45 end at 3.20. We've given time for download, print off, and re-uploading. You may use the data that you collected through your Strava run. Otherwise, it is a closed book sack. No internet, no textbook, no workbook, no notes, no communication, not at all during the reading or the writing time. Don't forget as well, you need to submit another version of the VCAA authentication and cited and signed by a parent and guardian. So I've attached not, attached not only the SAC2 question booklet, but also the authentication record that you will download both, okay? The other thing that I wanted to show you, because there's a lot of people who are asking questions about this, is about the data. When you open it up, now this is from a practice sack that Mr. Smith and I gave both classes, but you're going to see a table that's very similar to this. Obviously, this is a 400 meter and we're going to be dealing with a 1500 meter. We will provide you with a student A sample data, which is one of the students who completed it, uploaded it to Compass, and we have taken their results. Student B will be blank. That is where you will place your results if you completed the Strava run. And it's always better to, do, to use your primary data and fill in that student B than it is to use somebody else's because you know exactly how your body was feeling at each of those segments and can speak from personal experience in these responses. And then we also know we won't be using Michael Johnson, but we will be using a world record holder for the 1.5 kilometer, 1500 meter run. Down here where it says the heart rate data, once again, we'll provide you with the professional athlete's heart rate data and a student sample data and provide you with a blank column for you to fill yours in if you have it. So this is what you will take in with you. Most importantly, the table from the lab results that you have filled in here with your time at each specific point of 400, 800, 1200 and 1500 meters and the sector time of how long it took you for each of those. If this is prepared prior to the sack, you won't be wasting any time when you actually sit down to complete it. We did ask as well for heart rate and along that graph, you should have been able to see what your heart rate was at each of those segment points. So you can fill that in. Otherwise, we've provided you with student data if you weren't able to get your own. I just wanna mention very quickly as well about the cheating. It's very important that you do keep this as a closed book assessment task, especially with the information that VCAA gave us recently in the 30% weighting of the Unit 3 scores. If your scores from Unit 3 do not line up with the end of year examination, then the scaling will be a detriment to you. It is very, very important that you take this seriously, that you do complete this closed book, and that you earn the score that you're going to deserve to earn and will reflect the same score that you'll earn at the end of the year.
I wish you good luck in the sack tomorrow. Mr. Smith and I are available to answer emails all the way up until the sack and during the sack as well. If there's any troubleshooting, please don't hesitate to contact us. We will do our very best to work through whatever issues might arise.